everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i am juliette valibay good to have you here in today's video i am going to make this very simple and straightforward corset top all right guys the pattern is by nava rose and it is a simple and straightforward diy all you have to do is download the free pdf pattern cut according to the pattern follow our diy video or follow this diy video and you are good to go guys trust me you are good to go it is a very simple top to make it is very easy and i hope you find it easy too if you are new here hello what's up what's good my name is juliet and on this channel i make diy craft sewing videos lifestyle and any other thing i decide to make a video because it's my channel i can do whatever i want okay so let's get into the video shall we for the things that we need i am going to be using boning i think here in nigeria it's called crinoline boning i think but that is what i am using I am also using my lining fabric and my main fabric. My main fabric is an old skirt actually. And I am using the main fabric for my bias and also for the tie up at the back of my top. I am using eyelets. This eyelet I am using is mainly for shoes but I am using what I have. I really do not want to buy another eyelet. So I am using this because it works also. And of course guys, our pattern by Nava Rose. Shout out to Nava Rose by the way. Thank you so much for this pattern. The pattern is pretty simple to assemble. I am going to tape A2 on top of A3 and A1 on top of A2 it is like that super and duper simple to assemble So I am going to place my pattern on my fabric. My fabric is actually on fold by the way, right sides facing each other and I am going to place the center front of the pattern on the fold of the fabric like so. And as you can see my pattern is just straight. I really do not want to join any fabric so I decided to just make it straight like that since I have excess fabric to work with. And also guys, do not forget the side and the back of our top. So I'm cutting two pieces of each, of the side and of the back. So guys, just like it is right now, that is how I am going to sew the top together. Just the way it is right now I am going to sew them right sides touching and I also forgot to mention that I added interfacing to my main fabric because it is actually a very soft fabric so I used interfacing and now I am done sewing the top together I am going to iron the seams I actually iron the seams towards the back of the top because i noticed i could not iron the seams open so i had to iron the seams towards the back of the top And also guys, do not forget your lining piece. My lining piece is not looking identical to the main 
top I got the mistake guys the intentional mistake so I am going to place my lining and my main top right sides touching each other and I am going to sew like so so this is my top stitch to the lining main fabric and lining stitched together also I am going to trim out the excess and notch my curves so that it is not funny when I wear it done trimming all the excess and making notches so now I am going to turn my top to the right side I do not have a loop toner yet so most of the times when I want to turn my fabric to the right side I usually use a safety pin When I finished turning my top to the right side, I actually ironed it flat. That was what I did. I ironed it flat. So now I am going to top stitch just like the way we stitched the lining to the main fabric. I am going to top stitch all around like so. Now we are done top stitching, guys. As you can see, I am still a learner when it comes to top stitching or stitching anything. I can't just stitch straight. So now you have to adjust the sleeve according to how you want it, according to your size. So what I'm supposed to do here or what I was supposed to do is that I was supposed to take out some seams. So be sure to use your seam ripper to take out some seams so that you can tuck your sleeve into the top. Okay. But because I am a lazy person, I just decided to top stitch the sleeve to the top, like so. So I didn't take out seams and I didn't top the sleeve in. To mark the casing of my bone and I am going to fold my top like so in order to get the middle part because I want a straight line in the middle. And the size of boning you have, if you are using a zip tie, a steel boning, whichever size you have, will determine the kind of casing you are going to make or the size of casing you are going to make. My boning is pretty big, so I am using it as a guide to know what I am going to stitch or how the spacing is going to be. So whichever or however you like to place your boning, be sure, feel free, experiment, do whatever it is you want. If you want it slanted, if you want it crossed, don't be afraid to try out new things and experiment. So I am just placing my boning the way I want it to be on the top. 
so when i am done ruling all the lines with my chalk i am going to take the top to the sewing machine and i am going to stitch on that line so that line is going to be my guide I am back from the sewing machine guys as you can see I have top stitched on the white line so that is where I am going to fix my bone so now I am just measuring my bone according to the length of the casing I made now you do not have to do this to your boning if it's not exactly like this actually the whole boning thing is not really necessary you can file your boning you can use your file a nail file to file your boning and if you want to burn it too you can also burn it the whole idea is to trim the rough edges of our boning so that it does not poke out of the main fabric or the lining fabric so and as you can see my lining is looking different like way 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 in fact way too different from the main fabric i i just get stubborn at times when it comes to cutting the right lining every time okay so now i am going to pass my boning inside of my top like so and when you are done as you can see i actually made my boning longer than the top so now i am going to stick out the boning and i am going to cut the bottom of the boning so that when I place my bias or when I am ready to close the top I don't have to sew on top of the boning and the boning is out of the way so be sure to do that to every of your boning So guys, I am using the main fabric as my bias to cover up the top. You can decide to use a different color fabric, your choice, okay? So now I am just going to cover the top like so. I do this a lot on my channel so I am not really going to show you guys how I do it here. For the eyelets, your spacing depends on you. I am taking half inch from the top and after that half inch, the spacing is one inch each. Okay, so after the half inch from the top, one inch each. That is what I am using. The spacing depends on you. 
so I am just going to take my seam ripper and I am going to use that to make holes for the eyelet. So my eyelet came with this, I really don't know what it's called, plier or something. This is what I used to fix in my eyelid, so I am just showing you guys how you are supposed to fix it in case you are something like this and you don't know what to use it for. And guys, fixing this eyelid was, I had to try a couple of times in order to make it stay and this is not even my first time using this tool. I am done fixing eyelet number one. As you can see, it is not looking perfect, but it is a goal. So I am going to do the rest of camera. Now we are done with the rest. As you can see, it is far from perfect, but we love it and we're gonna rock our corset that way. So after that, guys, our lace, I really don't know what to call this, strings, lace. I was supposed to use the main fabric too but I was just too lazy. I decided to use an already made ribbon. It works still, it is fine, it is beautiful, it works still, okay? I already actually sewed that main fabric but turning it to red, I just abandoned it guys and I used an already made ribbon. So that is the last step of our top. I hope you understand. If you do not ask me anything, I will answer. Our top is looking beautiful, guys. Go make yours. I would love to see yours. Alright, guys, so that's it for this video. Like I said, it is straightforward and it is simple. If at any point you enjoyed this video, do not forget to smash the like button. Do not forget to subscribe, it is very important. And turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss an upload from me. And let me know what other thing you would like me to DIY. I am currently on a journey of DIYing almost everything I know, everything I own. Hmm. Fashion items, home decors, and so much more. And if you try out this DIY, do not forget to use the hashtag DIY with Juliet on Instagram. I would really, really love to see what you make. And I would also love to repost it. And also follow me at thatgirl.juliet on Instagram.